Uh, can, Eileen, that's fresh head. Grab it. Fresh head right there. Maybe not. I'm, I'm not sure. You're watching Northeast Angling. We're proud to present inshore and offshore saltwater fishing. We cover every species from fluke and porgies to stripers, sharks, and tuna. You can learn more about techniques, tackle, and destinations at neangling.com. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's the 12th annual Manhattan Cup sponsored by the FCA. I can't believe it's only been 12. It seems like so many more. It looks like it's not a monsoon yet. Weather looks half decent. We know the fish are out there. We're in for a really, really big day. Got a whole new crew. Let's climb aboard. Let's get this done. Steve Palmo, Glen Cove, New York. Eileen Miller, Manorville, New York. Mitch Wergley's Mutton Town, New York. skies right now. We know there's been a good bite in Raritan. Probably going to the Raritan Reach Channel, somewhere between buoy 9 and 19. That whole area has been good. Um, we're going to wait for this shot, crazy shotgun start here. A lot of boats ripping down the river here. It's going to be really silly. some birds here. I'm gonna run the boat up on them. Get some marks on the bottom here. It looks like we got some big fish underneath them here. All right, guys. I'm putting a little verse on. Go ahead, drop your baits down. Drop them. I'm on. I'm on. There you go, Stevie. Doesn't seem to be a very big fish. What's that? Doesn't seem to be a very big fish, but it's like you just found out he was caught. <laughs> just get your baits down, guys. The fish are underneath the boat. Striped bass, net. Striper? Yep. Kyle, take care of that. Everybody check your drags. Man, if you got maybe we need to wait on one on, on one of these to get down where these fish are. A ton of fish under the boat. Kyle, get a weight on that. Starting to mark them now. Here we go. Slide in on them now, guys. Hey. All right, guys, let's pick it up. We're going to make a move a little further to the east. These fish are here in the channel. They're moving all over the place. They're impossible to stay on top of them in the wind. Let's get some beach behind us. 
where we can use the beach to kind of corral the fish here. It's too wide open here. We're never going to stay on these fish in this way. Don't squid it, Eileen. Uh, drop it down to the bottom, sharp lifts and drops. All right, work, help Stevie get ready on the net. He's got a nice fish there. Nice fish on a diamond jig. Not the biggest fish, but it's done. Next to you. There you go, Eileen. Come on, Mitchie. Get thing out of that net quick. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Visit the Northeast Angling website at neangling.com for nationwide saltwater charter directory, fishing news, and free fishing reports. You can also find dozens of techniques, tips, and tackle for every saltwater species. Now let's get back to the action. So our goal here, we're just going to get the boat into about 25 feet of water. We're inside the channel, so we're just going to, wow, we're already marking fish here. Um, as the slope comes up, the moment it gets up to 25 and flattens off, that's where we're going to fish. There's a fish right there. So there's the fish are here. We're just going to set up in about 25 feet of water right here. There's another fish. Uh, so this place is loaded with fish. Let's see if we can get them going. Let's do it, Kyle. This is our spot. Drop it. You can have problems setting the nest. You've got nice current here. Go ahead, put it in. One to one. We went down the beach, caught a bunch of fish on jigs. They were all cookie cutters. So it doesn't look like we're going to see that kind of fish that we need. A winning fish is not going to come from down the beach. So now we've set up in a totally different spot. We're right, uh, almost right off of Jersey here, right on the hook. And what we're going to do here is just get a lot of bait in the water, a lot of chunks, and just start bringing the fish to the boat. Hopefully we're going to bring the right fish to the boat. What we're going to do here is we're going to get a lot of chunks in the water. We're going to get five chunks in the water, and then we're going to put one live bunker down, which we call a hanger. 
that basically the job of that bunker is put a little flash underneath the boat, and if something really big comes along, that fish is probably going to get grabbed. And we've caught, of course, a monster fish on a hanger while we're doing what we would consider a, a traditional chunk bite. You know, one thing we do is we're, we're in about 27 feet of water, current's running pretty hard in an ounce and a half to make sure that our chunks are staying on the bottom. Here we go. I've been fishing my entire life. Um, my parents had a boat, so as soon as I could walk and hold a pole, I started flounder fishing off of uh, Freeport, where we used to keep our boat. And then when I was a teenager, my brother purchased the boat, and I fished with him for, uh, for several years. We used to keep it down at Freeport Tuna Club. And then in the summertime, we'd take it out to Montauk. So that's where I really got into fishing, you know, big time. Bass fishing, tuna fishing, shark fishing. Had a lot of great experience there. And then as uh, I got older, my brother and I decided uh, we'd try some other areas. We went down to, uh, to Panama, down to Tropic Star, where I got my first black marlin. I did a lot of tuna fishing out in Montauk. And uh, then this summer, I actually went up to Alaska and went halibut fishing. Ooh, I just threw that in the water. All right. If it comes to the top and we Why see lot, lots of fins, I'll like it. Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, got, some, got a little too much speed. Yeah. Hey, jumping, growling behavior is a dead giveaway. That, that was a head that I literally just threw in one second ago. So last night, about 5 o'clock, I got a call from Andy saying that uh, one of the members of the team wasn't able to make it, and would I ever be able to take off work for the day and uh, join the crew? This is my first time here to participate in the, uh, in the tournament. So of course, being the avid angler that I am, I said, Andy, give me five minutes. Let me give my uh, boss in London a call at 10 o'clock. He's still awake. So I did straight away, called my boss and said, hey. I have a wonderful opportunity to fish with Andy Lucasio and the Triton Mercury team, and we're going to film and we're going to have a great day. And he said, "Don't worry about it." So I was absolutely so excited I could barely sleep last night. Got up at three o'clock this morning to drive over to Andy's house so that we could make it down here to Chelsea Pier by eight o'clock and get ready for the captain's meeting. It was just uh, an excellent, excellent invitation that I just couldn't pass up fishing with a great team and a great captain like Andy you can't lose uh, can, Eileen that's fresh head grab it fresh head right there maybe not I'm not sure all right we got another one on Steps. Eileen you are absolutely gorilla bluefish you are absolutely slaying the big bluefish right now yes <laughs> you are the queen of the big bluefish Big blue. I'm planning on getting my hook back too. Wow, that wow, is a big blue fish. Right. Oh, this guy's got some life to him. Yeah, here we go. Of course, and the hook's a nice visible one. Just like that. This has been one of those days, TV. It up, dropped it, came right back and took the bait. But I have a feeling it's another big blue fish. It was a bass. No, it was a bass. Oh no, I saw the stripes on that fish. No, I saw. I it. absolutely saw the stripes on that fish. I saw. You saw blue, blue fish. fish? Am I the only one that saw the stripes? Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Thank you. I'm the only one that saw the stripes saw, on that fish. That's the only fish I really saw. I, I, saw, blue. I saw stripes. Hold on, let's tilt. No need to shut the click off at that point. Just swing. Now you can shut the click off. I owe you one.
strikes, some strikes. Once again, Another still fish. the queen of the bluefish. But sooner or later, someone's going to catch the right bass here and claim it's a bluefish, and I'm going to start laughing. Wow. wow. Now let's get the net on that one. Yeah. Keep them in the water now. Visit the Northeast Angling YouTube channel for hundreds of videos, including full-length episodes, exciting clips, product reviews, and instructional videos. And now, the exciting conclusion of Northeast Angling. This is like frenzy fishing now. As quick as you can get a bait in the water, something picks it up. Now, unfortunately, it's mostly big bluefish. I mean, really big bluefish. So you're on these fish for a while, but you know what? This is still a blast. You know, if you get a chance out here, this is all being done for charity for the FC FCA Manhattan Cup. Uh, just an unbelievable event. And I'll tell you what, they got the perfect weather. And I got a feeling we're going to go back to the dock and hear a lot of great fish stories. That's big on the course, but no. That's okay. She's got fish on there. What do we need? Grab that. Watch your line, watch your line. Does everybody have a fish on right now? Because Mitch has one on. Mitch's got a screamer on over there. One of the things I'm doing here, I'm trying to keep bait in the water. Even We have one rod in the water right now. We've got five workable rods. Right now, we have most don't have hooks on them because they've been bitten off. And we're just struggling to keep gear in the water so the right fish is going to come along. We've got nothing, we've got nothing in the water. we just got our second rod back in. We haven't been able to get five rods in the water in the last hour. That's how good this bite is. You know what? If you really want to have a lot of fun, Raritan Bay in the spring, this is bluefish land. Oh my God. Just close it and swing. Yeah. <laughs> that is nice. This is instant fishing. Just get a bait in, catch a fish. Wow, another big blue fish. All right, there he goes. He's walking. You know, we're only using 30 pound tackle. And believe it or not, these fish are more than tough enough to break these lines, especially with our, our very wimpy 50-pound leaders. The problem with we were using 50-pound leaders is we have fish that are basically soft biting. We don't want to use a heavy leader. We've got a light leader, so we're forced, no matter what, to run 50. And you're going to break off a lot of fish doing it. Go walk, see, you gotta go to the top. Go into those rods. Let's go, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, here's another one. Eileen, get on that. Reel it, reel it, reel it. He's swimming up there. He might be swimming up the tide. Nope. Drop the bait back. Might pick it up on the drop back. You never know. Has he got it, right? Nope. Just sink it back. Wow. Uh, get in there. Bass! 
Sooner or later, it had to happen. Sooner or later, no matter what was going to happen here, the bass were going to come in. Unfortunately, it's 3.15, which means that we're out of time. So though we now have the bass biting, now we have the bass biting, here he comes. It's not a bad fish. Pull him out. Unfortunately, the problem we have now is the overcast has come in, we got the right fish around the boat, and guess what? We're out of time. We're going to give this a few more minutes and see if we can get lucky and roll the dice. We've got a very fast boat, and we'll see if that'll get us back into town in time. All right, guys, just keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to just pull this hook out. Guys, we've got to get these rods back in the water. There's fish here. We have just moments here to hook the right fish. We finally get the bass around the boat. We've got to do it now. This is the head. This is the head I threw down the middle. Yeah. Andy, we got two minutes left. You think we can do it? I don't know, Steve. It's not going to be easy, but we're not going to go out without trying. And of course, now we're playing the game where if we do hook something, it's the right fish. We're barely going to make it back to the dock in time, but luckily we're in a boat that goes 55 miles an hour. We got a shot, and it's calm, so we have a double shot. All the rod is going off. There you go, Steve. Uh, I don't know about that. That just wasn't the best hook set. That was too a good uh, hook set. You better hope there's yeah. no hook on the end. Come on, that was a good hook set. Oh, oh. oh. All right, so what do you care about the hook open and it's going? Huh? All right, guys, we caught I don't know how many fish. Eileen, it was an absolute pleasure as usual to fish with you. It Thank always you. is. Thank and Stevie you. and Mitch, I never have to worry about them. We know there's always going to be some entertainment, no matter what. <laughs> but this was great. But we are out of time. And we got to race back. And who knows? We might see something busting on top. It's calm enough right now. We'll have the plug and rods ready. If we see something, we'll make a couple of casts. But right now, we actually got to get everything policed up and hustle back to the dock to make it in time. Another amazing day. 12th annual Manhattan Cup put on by the Fishermen's Conservation Association. These guys absolutely are getting it right. What a great cause. It's all about fishing, fun, and the charity. Best moment of the day, Eileen. What do you think? I think uh, the mayhem with all the bluefish on, when it was hook that fish in ten, ten seconds or less, it was a Yeah, you know, obviously Stevie was sitting there running around stealing everybody's rod. Yeah, he had to bump Stevie off the rod. Who do you think needed your help the most? I think it was Mitch. Without Mitch, a doubt. Mitch, uh, Mitch you're going to defend yourself or what? Yeah, listen, we'll let him yeah. out as one. The one good thing is we had more laughs than we had bluefish today. That's what's most important. We always have a lot of laughs. We still ended up with eight bass. We didn't get anything that was really big enough, but you know we've won a lot of the other prizes here, and we really want to try and catch a big fish and win this silly event, which we love so much. And you know what? Either way, we had an amazing time, a great cause, and anyone can participate. There's a private boat division, a charter boat division. Everybody should be doing the FCA Manhattan. Thank you for watching. You can use the buttons below to subscribe to our YouTube channel watch more videos, or to learn more about the location, techniques, and gear as seen in this video.